YouTubers. Welcome back to AZ2 Ozarks. I am out in the garden today on this beautiful fall morning and I am looking at my sweet potato patch. So this started out as 24 starts from an FFA student. It was his project to do sweet potato starts and he was selling these six packs of starts for only $2 each. So that was crazy cheap and I thought, well, I might as well try it because my sweet potato plants that I had tried to start didn't. And I asked my neighbors and friends if they wanted any and I had one neighbor and one friend that each wanted a six pack and then I got four six packs. And my friend has just harvested hers and she had a bunch of big tubers. And I'm looking at this huge area thinking I must have crazy, crazy tubers growing under here. And I was going to wait until frost to harvest. You can see how tall they are. They're really about up to my knee. Um, but I planted a bunch of carrots in a row here. And these sweet potato plants keep sending runners and getting further and further over. So this is where I've planted my carrots on a whole row and the sweet potatoes are just taking over. I think it's too late for any of these to develop any tubers, so it's silly to just let them keep running. And I'm thinking that it might be a good idea to just see what's going on underneath. We're going to start here at the end and see if we can pull up and find some tubers in here but you can see that these plants put off runners which are these long vines and then they set down new roots and I don't know if these roots each can make new tubers or not so we're going to find out if there's only tubers right where the plants were originally planted or if all of this leads to more tubers out here so far we're just pulling up vines and you can see we've got a lot of overgrown grass here. See what we can get to here. Hmm. Okay. We're getting some deeper roots now. And I know that you're supposed to dig up using a shovel, um, but at the ends, so as not to damage the tubers. But I'm just really not sure where to begin because of how far these vines have grown. I guess we're just gonna have to kind of experiment with this and see where we end up. So these are just roots still. Let's pull them back, guys. Finding anything yet? Did you find a root or a tuber? Oh, but something got to them. What do we have? It's a potato. Something got to it. How did something get to it? Let's see. It dug. Well, look at this. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yeah, let's get this camera in here while you dig that out. Oh, let's see what we have. Oh, potatoes. I love potatoes. Oh my goodness. Let's see what you have. Oh, dang it. A little round one. There's a big root. Okay. I see something really big right here. Um, what is that? Is it a potato? <sighs> <laughs> well, that's wild. Let's see what's in your hand. Yeah. Oh, There's another one? Guy. Oh, this one that wow. was jacked up. How's that one jacked up? 
So, there was a little trail leading to it. Oh, maybe Some, like an armadillo or something? To it. Oh, here's one. Ugh, for sure. The soil here is pretty loose. This is all the composted yeah. manure we had oh. placed here. Here's one. Is that little? Hmm. It's a little, little tiny guy. Oh, that is an... Oh. oh, okay, Santa goes way back here. And here's another way back here. the size oh, of that potato. Oh. Something must have been eating at bugs. Maybe. Oh. Is there another one? They could not eat that whole thing. Because look how big that is. potatoes. Well, you can see that we have this big pile of sweet potatoes now, and we also have this giant pile of sweet potato vines and greens that we'll have to take care of. But uh, what do you, what can you show me about the sweet potatoes, Lewis? Well, this one's split. Why do you think it's split? It was there for too long. Too long? And this one very split. And then, it kind of makes me wonder because this one's very split and it's littler than this one and this one's hardly split. Hmm, I wonder if it has to do with inconsistent watering because we haven't had uh, good consistent watering here. We don't water the garden very and often. Wash. We rely on the rainfall um, this one's probably our biggest here, but you can see it is split. These will need to cure for two weeks in order to get sweet. I've heard that they're really not sweet if you eat them fresh out of the ground, so we're not going to do that. But there were a lot of little guys like these too. This one is very twisted. Yep, some odd shapes and twists. There were some that looked like they may have been eaten a little bit by animals. We do have um, armadillos here and a mouse did run out while we were pulling them up so there could have been other pests involved but there weren't too many that had been nibbled. Um, just a couple of them. What do you have there? A very very straight potato. Yep so some of them seem to be long and thin. Um, that might have been more where there was hard clay so underneath this beautiful soft uh, composted manure we have hard clay soil. And so some of them were trying to grow into that clay and were more round and smooth, um, more narrow roots. But we're going to put these into a basket. We will weigh them. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied. So this was um, $8 investment here for this big stack of potatoes. So I'm pretty satisfied with it. How about you, Lewis? I am. Good. Let's see if the goats like these greens. I think Snowball does. Hey, Mama Goat. Hey, Benjamin. Hey, Joplin. How about some little roots? They're kind of like a carrot shape. Hey, chickens. Hey, chick chicks. See if some bunnies would like to have some sweet potato roots and greens. Hey Taco! Taco is our blue ribbon Holland Lop. Handsome little dude that he is. 
but he's pretty lazy. <laughs> Give him a green, see if he'll eat it. Here. Come on, Taco. Come on, Taco. Maybe, maybe saving it for later. All right, how about butterscotch? She's a little Dutch. Maybe. She's sniffing at him anyway. How about Strawberry? Another little Dutch rabbit. You gonna eat some treats today, Strawberry? Oh, look at Butterscotch. She's eating. Yay! I think she likes the sweet potato leaves. So does Strawberry. Very good. Well, that's one way to use up the extra pieces. And we have about 10 of them that we're not going to eat at all because they have um, what looks like they've been nibbled on by rodents and stuff. So those ones are gonna be cut up and given to the goats for little goat treats. And then this one, I really don't know what happened to it. It's just crazy split and lumpy and weird, but that one's going to be goat food too. I suspect this is a much more effective way of using up all those sweet potato vines. Hey girls. We've read that sweet potato vines are a good feed for cattle. Nice organic greens for the girls. Everybody was just moved into this paddock, so they're a little too happy with their grass to come running. But there's a few who are enjoying it. Here comes Lloyd, never one to pass up a snack. Hey, Lloydy. Aren't they beautiful little South Pole heifers? We just weighed our little bucket of sweet potatoes and there's 74 pounds of potatoes in there between 24 plant starts. So, and $8 was what they cost me. So that was a pretty darn good investment, I expect. Now we have our sweet potatoes all laid out to cure and the ideal temperature for curing potatoes, sweet potatoes, is 85 degrees. And the ideal humidity is also uh, right around there, like 80 to 90% humidity. We are not a commercial operation and we can't really recreate that. So we're hoping that our situation that is 68 degrees and 50% humidity is going to suffice. So we'll allow them to uh, cure for two weeks and then that is supposed to help activate the sugars in the potatoes and make them really tasty and yummy. Now that I have the sweet potatoes pulled up and I've done a little bit of weeding in this area, I still have some more back in that corner over there. They really do grow quickly here in Missouri. Um, while I was weeding, I did come across about five more <laughs> potatoes that were hiding in the garden still. Um, so there's probably still a bunch of tubers that we've missed, but I think we got quite a few of them. And so now I am ready to plant my carrots back in here and move on to the next crop. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to keep following our adventure.